So what's a basic definition of continuous? To be continuous means? Keep going. Keeps going on. As you're drawing the graph with your pencil, you never have to do what? Never have to pick it up. Okay. Be smarter if I actually plug this thing in. And this too. So as long as you, well, better lock it in place. As long as you don't have to pick it up, it's continuous. That's a real basic definition. And we mentioned <coughs> the different types of discontinuities. Uh, by the way, a discontinuity is an X value. Every discontinuity in the universe is an X value. So they're trying to indicate on this particular picture that A is your point of discontinuity. And MC Hammer sung a song about this one, didn't he? Did we talk about that yesterday? Can you remember what song he sang about this one? Can't touch this? Which is really about what? Asymptotes, right. If you look at the lyrics again, you will realize that MC Hammer's song, Can't Touch This, is about asymptotes. Of course, this one that you see in front of you is a vertical asymptote. Right? And then, of course, there's another kind called a jump discontinuity. Why do you think they call it a jump discontinuity? Because you just jump, right? <laughs> yep, that's it. Yep, that's uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's kind of weird looking. Now these other two right here are both called removable discontinuities. Removable discontinuities. But you're going to notice that in the one on the left, there is a point way up here. Now, both of these graphs have a hole in them, a missing value. <coughs> Do you think that your graphing calculator is good enough to show you the missing value? How small is a point? Look at how small, right? In geometry class, they said it had more thickness or width. You know, that's how they, they got away with that whole line definition. No thickness. Right? Which is why that is oftentimes my costume for Halloween. Right? A line. I've been working on it. Um, those are called removable discontinuities. Now, the next word we need to talk about is a limit. Don't talk, mean girl. Yet. Okay, I'll come back to you in a minute. Or in a little while. One thing that everybody in the room needs to know right now is that a limit is a y value. Discontinuities are x values. 
but a limit is a y value. I cannot emphasize this enough. I, I mean, day after day, I could pound this through your head every day. Limits a y value, limits a y value, limits a y value. Two weeks from now, somebody's going to say, are you telling me that a limit is a y value? And I'll be like, yes. Okay. It's really important that you understand this point right here. A limit is a y value. As x approaches some value. A limit is a y value as x approaches some value. Now, we're going to talk about limits here in a second, but example five says, judging from the graphs, which of the following figures shows functions that are discontinuous at x equals 2? So if we focus our attention on the one on the left there, do you think this is discontinuous? at x equals 2, yes or no? Did you have to pick up your pencil? You're drawing along, shoo, right? You didn't have to pick up your pencil, or did you have to pick up your pencil? You definitely did. So this is discontinuous at x equals 2. What kind of discontinuity is that? Okay. 10 seconds, talk to your neighbor, figure out what word we should be using. Come on. Talk to your neighbor, don't ignore them. Find out which word we should be using for which type of discontinuity this is. You only got three choices. Okay, what word did you use? Okay, if you go back and look at your choices back here, a jump discontinuity has like ends. It's disconnected. Whereas the one we're talking about is what? I'll give you a hint. So it's not jump. It it's infinite. It's infinite. And I kind of I kind of understand your your idea there on the jump because there's no arrows on it. But you know they're looking at graphing calculator screens, so um, it it doesn't draw those cool arrows on it. Okay. But this is infinite. Okay. So. Um, Oh, by the way, what do you notice about the denominator of the fraction? What do you notice about the denominator of the fraction? We talked about this yesterday. X minus 2 cannot equal what? Well, X minus 2 cannot equal 0. If you're ahead of me and saying that X cannot equal 2, I would, dis I would agree with you then. Which makes a whole lot of sense that 2 is a problem for the domain of that function. Okay, what about the next one? Is there a point of discontinuity right there? At x equals 2. Nope. So this is continuous. What 
one about the last one. At x equals 2, so that's, that's, yeah, that is discontinuous at x equals 2. What type? Removable. Everybody in this room should be able to factor the numerator of that fraction. It's a difference of perfect squares. So what does x squared minus 4 factor into? x minus 2 and x plus 2, right? In the denominator, we have x minus 2. And what is every fiber of your being telling you you should do right now? Ah, yes, reduce. get this straight. So you factored the numerator, you reduced it, and what are you left with? y equals x plus 2. What kind of shape is y equals x plus 2? Okay, just like that. Only one problem. It's not a line with all real numbers at its domain. There's a hole in the graph. Right? So it's a line, it's just got a hole in it. And the hole came from right here at 2. So if your graphing calculator is not going to show you where that hole is, you better know how to do some algebra. You better know how to factor so that you can remove or see where that hole is. Yes? How are we able to tell without the calculator that there is a hole? Um, by looking at right here, see how this has been removed? So that creates the hole. Correct. So because the factors are canceling out, that's where that removed point is. If you take x minus 2, set it equal to 0, then we know that x is 2 is the location, the x value, where that problem is occurring, where that hole is in the graph. In fact, grab your graphing calculator right now. and get this one entered in. Enter it in. I don't care if you enter it in with the parenthesis form that I wrote down there, or if you write it as x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2. All right, now, let's see if I, well, this still looks, well, that is not a good looking picture. I hate that. Hmm. What can I do? Is it going to down if I move it over here, it'll get better, but if it does, okay, that's better. All right, now. 
Yesterday we talked about how we would set up a table. So if you go to table setup, we are going to start that table at 2. The change in the table, please make it 0 .001, 1 1,000. Leave your independent and dependent variable both on auto. <coughs> Table start at 2, table, the change in the table, point zero zero one auto, auto. Go to your table. This is a line, right? You can see that I've gone up a little bit in the table, but it's a line. But what happens at 2? The calculator doesn't have a value for it. Right there's your hole. Yeah, you're right. I don't see it on the graph. I don't see I don't see any missing values or anything like that. You know, if I hit the trace button and typed in a 2 and hit the enter button, notice what you see next to y equals Nothing. It doesn't even have a number to give you. Now, we could go 2.001. Yeah, it can give me a value now. I can go 1.999. I can get values. I, I just can't get something at 2 because it's missing. Come back to that calculator in a minute. Okay, now, this idea of limits. Maybe we should start with the one on the right, and maybe it'll make more sense, since we already have that one in our calculator. Okay, I'm going to write down some notation here. Um, the limit. As x approaches 2, and then it looks like I've got a little exponent, which is a plus sign of the function h of x. Now, what, it, what, are, what are they really getting at? Remember, is a li what, what do you know about a limit? A limit is a y value. Thank you very much. It is a y value. As x is getting closer and closer and closer to 2, now, this little plus sign, come on, come on, give me a different color. This little plus sign means from the right. From the right. What's going on as you get closer and closer and closer to that spot? It almost it looks like an exponent, but it's not a number. It's a it's a plus sign. It'll look like that. Yes. Now, look at that table we had earlier. Got your table open. Look at these y values as you are approaching from the right. Okay, so the right would be this side, right? Two point zero zero five. Two point zero zero four. 2.003, 2 .002, 2 .001. What's what are we getting close to on y? Are we getting closer to four? Look at it. Are we getting closer to four? That is the limit as x approaches two from the right. The y value as you are getting closer and closer and closer to x from the right. That y value is 4. Okay. What about the limit as x approaches 2 with a little minus sign up there of h of x? What do you think that minus sign possibly means? From the left. Aren't 
So how long is this going to be kept? Uh, it won't be. What I'm what I'm telling you is that you are going to have to. Uh, I mean, yes, you will need to be able to write this notation. You will need be able to need to read this notation. But in terms of a calculator, we use tables and we and and graphs, and we look at it and say uh, what's happening as we get closer and closer. So we we plug numbers into the to the equation. Although making a table plugs numbers in way faster than you and I can do it. So using the table helps out a lot. And I believe each axis is supposed to be on the same level as that? Yes, they are on the same level as, like, uh, a lot of times you'll see the, the X. I, I'm kind of exaggerating. You'll see in some of the printed stuff that we show you here in a minute um, that, you know, the, the kind of the level. But you're right. You've got limit and h of x probably would be at the same level. And then underneath the word lim would be your like subscripts like x, arrow, and then 2. So you'll, you'll see it here in a minute. But it's a good question. So what's happening? Go back to your table and look at what's going on. As x approaches 2 from the left. What are we getting close to in terms of the y values? Also 4, aren't we? The last limit I'm going to ask you about is this one. I want you to notice about this one, there is no plus, there is no minus. I'm asking you for what they call the overall limit. So we've got from the right and from the left and the overall limit at 2. The only way that this has an overall limit is if the right limit and the left limit have a matching number. Do these have a matching number from the right and from the left? So my answer is 4. But the only reason that you can say that is because they match. Go for it. Ask. Why is the Okay, because what we're saying is the x value, x is getting closer and closer and closer. Watch my hands. So we're getting closer and closer this way to 2, x value. What's happening to the y values? The y values in this case are getting closer and closer to 4. And since they're getting closer and closer to 4 on the right and getting closer and closer to 4 on the left, even though you and I both know there's nothing there, there's a hole in the graph, since those two y values are matching, we say the overall limit is 4. It doesn't mean, okay, remember, the idea of a limit is it's the y value as x is getting closer to that point. And as you already know from this picture, there's nothing there at that location. But the limit still does exist. All right, now, I won't go through it too, I won't, I won't write it all down for this way, but the one I want you to talk it through with me here on this, what's the limit as x is approaching 2 from the right on this graph? You can tell. You don't need to type it in your calculator. Zero, right? So from the right, we're getting close to zero. How about as we approach x from the left? Also zero, right? What's the overall limit at x equals 2? Zero. 
you had a number from the right that was matching the number from the left, so the overall limit exists, and it is that number. Well, guess what? That's going to happen every single time when it's continuous. Not that it's the number zero, but... Now, what happens over here on this one on the far left? The limit as x approaches 2 from the right of f of x. What's going on as you approach x equals 2 from the right? What's going on? As you keep getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to x from the right, what's happening to the y values? what? They just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, mean girls, <coughs> now's your time. As x gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, the limit... As x approaches 2 from the right, come on. That was the big quote in, in the movie. Remember, she's in the competition, and she can't figure out what's going on, and she's the only one that can answer it, and then she comes up with the answer at the last second. The limit does not exist. She screams it out loud and wins the competition. Okay. What kind of fans are these people? All right. Does not exist. DNE, we abbreviate does not exist with DNE. Now, I do realize that some people will say infinity on that because it is going to positive infinity. But um, AP calculus will recognize that as does not exist. All right, well, how about the, uh, the limit? as x approaches 2 from the left. As you approach from the left, what's going on? <coughs> Same thing? Does not exist. That's true. So what do you think the limit... Oops, sorry, why is that? Limit as x approaches 2 of f of x. What is the overall limit? D and E, right? Does not exist. Now, look at that jump discontinuity again. Does it have a does it have a limit from the right? It would have a limit from the right, correct? Well, what about a limit from the left? Would it have a limit from the left? Sure. Are those the same value? No. So if I ask you for the overall limit at that spot, and the right one doesn't match the left one. What's the overall limit? Come on, mean girls. Does not exist, right? Because they're not matching. The only way that you can say that there's an overall limit, like we said over here, is if they were matching. And the right and the left were both four, so the overall limit was four. 